Hey guys, back again for another Ghost in the Shell Sand on the Complex episode. Uh, today's going to be exciting because we are actually going to be watching the start of Season 2, second gig. So, um, this one, uh, this season, I remember the, the main uh, situation. Um, we're going from the Laughing Man from Season 1. And we're moving into the individual 11 for second gig. So, um, arguably a uh, topic that is just as interesting. So, um, lots of stuff I don't remember, um, if I'm being honest. And uh, let alone all the standalone episodes that we're going to be getting to. Um, I wonder if the green and blue thing is still a thing in this season so um but uh real excited for that uh so hopefully you guys are excited too to check out second gig and uh we're just gonna get on into it so uh guys if you haven't yet uh please like comment subscribe we're gonna be going all the way through this season start of a new season here so um we got uh we got more of a ways to go so um uh so yeah and um thanks to my my patrons so far uh for, for joining up. Um, for, for those of you that don't know, I do have a Patreon. Um, I currently have a $5 tier uh, to get uh, a week ahead. Um, I'm doing my best to establish uh, more tiers, um, at least one more tier to see if you guys can get some more bonuses um, and uh, be able to maybe even see even further than just one episode. So hopefully I get that stuff together at some point. Um, but if not, then the five dollar tier is, is what it is so um anyway we're gonna go ahead and jump on in all right we got a brand new opening it's a nice breath of fresh air getting into a a new intro new music I'm excited to see the, the new animation as well, or newer animation. Same vocalist, I believe, so. Yoko Kano back again. Getting a little glimpse of uh, all the new characters, uh, new villains. Really excited. All right, we are here, guys. We are, We made it. All right, we already got a new situation here. So, what do you make of this little situation? They got here sooner than I expected. These guys aren't dummies. They gotta be dialed in now, serious this is. It comes with a job when you're an anti-terrorist, huh? Yeah, you can definitely already tell that there's there's a difference in uh in animation, character design, slight differences. Okay, people, stand by for brain dive. 23 minutes ago, a criminal group armed with heavy weapons took over the Chinese embassy, which is located on the 46th floor of this building. You can see your memories from, uh... Individual 11, although it's doubtful that this refers to the amount of members in their group. A stand right. up inside an embassy, huh? Our first mention of the group. So what are these Individual 11 people demanding? An immediate halt to the acceptance of Asian refugees. Are they kidding? How long do they think it'll take us to make that happen? But since we don't know their true motives, we can't jump to any conclusions. I've reached my designated point. They've got image curtains drawn over the windows in the building, so I can't verify the situation inside. Neutralizing the curtains will be my top priority. It's pretty badass being able to snipe from a helicopter like that. If you have any luck in convincing the top brass, I'll just pull out of this surveillance gig and go drown our sorrows in a nudie bar. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that now. In order to avoid that potential problem, you'll need to neutralize the terrorists before their demands are leaked to the media. I would have to assume that my being called here has something to do with that as well. There's no need to waste time on flattery, Prime Minister. So she's the new Prime Minister. I'll jump straight to the heart of the matter then. So I guess that other guy didn't work out, huh? I have any to submitting a budget to rebuild Section 9 at the next Assembly meeting. However, that would only occur under one condition. No hostages are to be killed in the process of neutralizing the terrorists. That is a deal breaker. You're just now starting the paperwork? Do you really think we have the luxury of that much time? Then why the fuck are we here? 
Let's go to the nudie bar. So you need us, but you're still drawing up paperwork. If we go in now, we're in trouble, but you need us. That's really good planning. Taxpayers end up having to pay out compensation in the form of taking in refugees. It's a trade-off mm -hmm. for the Article 9 issue, which lets this country play the good guy in the international community. But some of those refugees are taxpayers, just like the rest of them. Having said that, I imagine the other legit taxpayers are catching on that their heavy tax burdens are helping to support the lifestyles of people who might take their jobs away from them. You know, they're paying into like a socialist kind of uh, programs to help out the general public. And I'm sure people up in the uh, up at the top are living pretty comfortably. And that's where a good chunk of that money's going. And the fact that he hasn't been replaced probably proves that no one considers the Home Affairs Ministry to be any threat. It and sounds like a pretty easy way for uh, the general public to be kind of like to disprove of uh, housing or refugees. Goes down without a hitch. New blood. New recruits. But Major. refugees, as Bato said, apparently they they also pay taxes. So it's like you can't really be mad at them because they're they're trying to do their part too. Ishikawa, I want you to run a bypass on that phone line you tapped. If I can borrow the eyes of somebody inside, I'll try to scope out this. I can't. I wouldn't be able to get anything done with her around. I'd be like, what? What did you say? You want me to go kill people? But I assume that's why you want me here. That's pretty badass. Hey, we got a bite. It's like Agent Smith style. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. That, that can happen to you. What the? Huh? You guys fucked up. Just send in section nine. Prime Minister, we've just now gotten word from the embassy. It appears a police assault unit encountered the terrorist. They did what? But I didn't authorize any show of force. An unpremeditated gunfight erupted while they were just trying to gather intel from the inside. Send him in. Fuck your paperwork. It's obvious that this situation can only be resolved with a direct assault by a tactical unit. There's no doubt in my mind that the operation would succeed. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove that to you. You're going to have to trust me on this one, Prime Minister. There you go. If the public should question the government's role in this, you could claim that your administration had no knowledge of my part in it. It's a good way to play the game, but it gets the it gets what needs to be done done. Fifteen minutes from now, a SWAT team is going to begin its assault on the embassy. I want you to slip in ahead of them. Rescuing the hostages is your number one priority. We wait forever, and the old ape casually says fifteen minutes like it was nothing. Hmm. Here you can see the situation inside the embassy. There are nine terrorists, one of whom is dead, and there may be ten hostages. We've got ten minutes max for this operation. They have to get up in there and take all that shit out in ten minutes. So what's the team lineup? Go in two man cells. Bato with Togusa, Pazu with Saito. We'll infiltrate using a different route than the SWAT team. We'll use the elevator. Good lord. Jeez. Freaking. I know all of you saw that. Storm the place in 15 minutes? But we don't even know what's going on in there. What the hell is the top brass thinking? They're crazy. <sighs> Ouch. Now tell me, where are your other assault routes? The roof. An emergency stairs. This is an odd bunch. No one's in command, but they're carrying out duties. I'll cause as much confusion for as long as my puppet holds out. After that, it's one shot, one kill. <laughs> Jeez. Don't move, damn it. She's tied up. Where, where is she gonna go? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I can't feel too bad for him because he's in the organization, you know, or in this group causing trouble, but I also feel bad for him. <laughs> well, they got one armored cyborg, right? Yeah. Lots going on right now. Get him, Bato. Hey. 
Oh shit. Oh my god. That guy got fucked. Oh my god. He just got like elbowed through the wall onto his neck. Of course. We are known as the Individual Eleven. Therefore, the threat of death means nothing to our people. Well, then, go ahead and die. Well, so much for that, right? Yep. Classic. Gotta do that. It's not Ghost in the Shell without that. You'll be pleased to learn that I'm approving your budget proposal in its entirety and appointing you to- Fuck yeah. Get us that budget. Are you the unit commander who led the operation? Not a single sarcastic comment back there. <laughs> it's not like you. It's because she's a woman, right? Plus, I can't help thinking that the assault order was her way of skillfully pulling a resolution plan out of you. I have to admit, she doesn't seem to be a typical marionette put in place by the ruling party. It's possible she could be that smart. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth and simply celebrate the rebuilding of Section 9. Yeah, I mean... There's nothing to really complain about here. Togusa, given the situation, you did great work. You've really improved. Thanks for saying so, Major. You can hold your head up high with the best of them when our new recruits come in. Who are these newbies, anyway? Oh yeah. Huh? How do you do? I am a touch coma. You're not. Are they kind of like refreshed? <laughs> no. They're the same. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Mr. Bato. Did I fool you? Did I? Did I? <laughs> As of today, they're members of Section 9. <laughs> nice. And we're not going to question their individuality or their curiosity, all that stuff. We're going to we're going to accept them the way they are. I just want to absorb this outro a little bit. New outro, guys. New old outro. Great first episode. It was it was really cool how they uh, slowly were introducing back all the all the members, all in their respective areas of expertise. You know, showing Aramaki and in, in with the other politicians. You know, making decisions and Ishikawa hacking stuff and you know everybody else just chilling in the van waiting for you know the go ahead and whatnot um and uh yeah a little we got a little taste of individual 11 not a whole lot just the fact that they exist and they cause trouble um we have a new prime minister a lot easier on the eyes she's pretty hot I'm not gonna lie um didn't care much for the last guy since he basically almost tried to kill us but uh Otherwise, um, otherwise, uh, yeah, um, good first episode just to kind of like establish, you know, some new things going on and, uh, you know, I'm happy about the, the new intro, the new outro, the updated animation, um, the character designs, the, um, there's more use of, sh uh, shadowing on the characters. So there's like more depth perception going on in, in the shots, um, and uh, the music is still great. It's all falls in line. Um, and uh, I think there was some new music in there, right? Can't remember, but um, but yeah. So, oh, I forgot to check if that was a green or blue episode. I can't remember. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe next time. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see like where the season goes. And how it progresses things like that so um but yeah i hope you guys have fun i had fun uh thanks for checking this out and uh i'll go ahead and see you guys next time